Hello Linux fans, welcome to Linux Quest and another episode of Cool Linux Tools, where we take a look at fun, useful, productive, or just plain interesting software and tools for Linux. As always, thanks for watching. So today we have a look at Impass. If you're like me, you've got multiple passwords for multiple sites, be it your cloud storage sites, uh, various web pages, online bank accounts, just a multitude of sites. Let's face it, practically everything now is accessed online and for that you need a secure password. Now security and passwords are becoming more important because we are starting to see an increase in hacking to uh, not only um, personal computers but hacking into large corporations, uh, banks, so on and so forth. So anytime there is an easy way to increase your security, um, I think it's important to take a look at it. And that's where InPass comes in. InPass is a cross-platform, meaning it works on everything from iOS to Android and to, of course, Linux. And the nice thing about InPass is that, number one, it does not store your passwords on its own servers. You are in control of where your passwords are stored. Now Impass works a couple of different ways. Um, you can just keep it resident on your PC and use it locally and it is totally free for Linux. Um, also you could use this with your phone. In my case it's an Android phone so I'm uh, using Impass and I am synchronizing my passwords uh, which are by the way AES 256-bit encrypted, I am syncing these uh, passwords through my Google Drive. So the nice thing, again, about Impass is that it doesn't store your information, your passwords, even though they are highly encrypted, it doesn't store them in their own server or their own cloud, which then could potentially be hacked. Um, so you can use this with the cloud storage that you may already have in place such as iCloud or in my case Google Drive or Dropbox so on and so forth. Uh, it will work with most of the um, popular uh, cloud storage offerings. Now the file that is kept in your storage is also encrypted so what you will see there is uh, if you were to open up the document would be a jumbled mess of characters and letters and numbers and things that you just can't make out that's because it is encrypted now uh, the synchronization between the Android application and your desktop in this case that is an upgrade and that cost $9.99 otherwise you are limited to 20 passwords within Impasse Password Manager. So let's take a look here at Impasse and so for security purposes I have nothing in this particular uh, install of Impasse. wanted to keep the slate clean and then we'll step through the process of some of the features of Impasse. So let's first give it our master password. So when you first set Impasse up it's going to ask you for a master password and once that's in place, that is the same master password that you would use if you choose to synchronize this with your phone. So we're going to go ahead and enter that now. Now, once you have an unlocked impasse, you're going to see uh, a fairly nice, clean interface here. And you've got several options. Um, you could go up to File and you create a new item, uh, a new login, or a new folder. You also have options to import or export as a text or CSV file uh, your categories and setups and everything. And then you have an option for backup and restore as well. And that comes in handy if you have impasse running locally on your system. Uh, from there you've got various other tools, edit, uh, items. Uh, item will pop up as soon as you start to enter information and passwords. Uh, you can hide the sensitive bar. Uh, you could show the status bar. You've got various sidebars that you can toggle on or off. Uh, you can use their generate password tool to generate a, um, a very, very difficult to remember password. That's why NSYNC remembers this password for you. So that's the beauty. If you have a lot of online accounts, um, did I say NSYNC? I meant Impass. Uh, Impass will generate the password for you. So if you have multiple online accounts, 
it's never wise to use the same password for all of your accounts because if a hacker ever obtains your uh, password information the likelihood that they try your other accounts is very high and if you've got the same password set up for everything then before you know it they're going to have access to all of your online accounts so that's where this tool would come in handy and this will then synchronize so when you go to that particular website um, and you are using impasse it's going to remember the uh, password that was generated and apply it over to that account automatically. Now you'll see here that I paused long enough for uh, Impasse to immediately lock the screen and now I'm going to enter the password one more time. Well actually let me go back to that. And more than likely it's not going to unlock it there. Yep, because I messed up. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now we're unlocked. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a login uh, here. So uh, this would be for uh, a website or um, any type of online account. And you'll see there's categories, login, credit cards, uh, finance, computer, so on and so forth, travel, miscellaneous. And then you've got password audit set up here where um, it'll tell you if you have a weak, identical, or old password in place. So I like the system, I like the layout, I love that it's cross-platform in that I can use the same similar layout in everything um, on my Android devices, uh, be it tablet or phone. Alright, so we're going to go to login and we'll click the plus symbol and we'll create a new login. So the first thing it's going to ask you for is a title and in this case I'm just going to say uh, Google Docs, just as an example and you could give that a username we'll just call it docs in this case and here we'll give it a fake um, gdocs21 at gmail.com now that particular uh, email address and everything uh, would apply back to you if you happen to use the email for that particular account um, now the other thing we're going to do here, you can enter your own password or here is where you could generate a password and save that. Now here you'll see uh, that this would be an extremely difficult password to remember unless you wrote it down somewhere or copied it somewhere. Uh, but again, the nice thing about Impasse, it remembers all of this for you. It's 18 characters. Uh, you could make this pronounceable. So let's go ahead and click Save and now we have an 18 character strong password for this particular account that we're setting up. Now the next thing here that uh, is optional is phone number. We're going to skip that. Now this would be important here. This is the URL for the actual website um, or online account that you're accessing. So this is where you want to make sure that you have the proper information. Uh, so you know in this case I'm just going to for example put in google.com and then you could have a security question here and security answer. A lot of times with online accounts you'll go through that setup process to create that account and they will ask you a security question and uh, as well as a, 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 you know pr to provide excuse me to provide an answer for the security question so you could store that here and then you've got a place which I, I really like this you've got a place for notes to store any other additional information that's pertinent to that account now again all of this remains secure with AES 256 bit encryption uh, you could go in and add additional fields reorder fields uh, I haven't messed around with add uh, TOTP um, I'm not really quite sure what that is to be honest with you so I'll have to check into that later uh, but once you've got all that up you would click Save and now you'll see here in the list uh, your Google Docs um, in this case mock Google Docs account uh, and you'll see everything as it's set up you can take a quick look here at the password and you'll see a bit of information the strength uh, of the uh, password in this case strong the URL of the website for the account you're going to uh, log into and then you'll see here last modified and then you can auto submit the login and you can choose not to do that so that is optional you can also add this as a favorite you could edit this and then you could share this so just be careful who you share it with right <laughs> right so 
So you get the idea here. Um, you could go in and duplicate that item. So if you have similar sites or accounts, uh, but you want a different password, maybe you um, maybe you use this. Maybe you have two accounts, but it's a similar setup process. You could copy that. Um, you could delete from there. Copy various things. Export uh, this information. Import this information. Um, all in all, for me, uh, with um, you know, very simple use, the ability for synchronization between my um, my Android devices and my Linux system here, I'm very very impressed with the entire application. I love the fact that number one, it's very strong, 256 bit encryption. Number two, my information is stored in my own personal cloud drive. And again, um, you've got a multitude of options there with very popular online accounts that you probably already have set up, being Dropbox, iCloud, Google Drive, SkyDrive, so on and so forth. And um, overall, very simple and easy to get set up. And uh, the cost for um, adding the synchronization capability between your mobile devices and your computer at $9.99, to me, that is a very small price to pay uh, for security. And again, if you're just using the uh, in-pass version for your Linux desktop, that is totally free. It's also free to use up to 20 accounts. So if you have 20 or fewer accounts, you could actually use the synchronization and everything absolutely free. So that's our look at in-pass. Very impressed with it. And I uh, hope this helps, and we will check you later.